Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were exploring our new island. Uh, however, there is a couple of things that I've forgotten to grab down here, I believe. So let's have a little poke around, shall we? Now, I'm pretty sure... Some Where does this go, actually? Let's have a little poke through here. Ah, hello. Some kind of like giant storehouse. Interesting. Well, let's go see what this woman's selling. Osman. You have a plethora of items. Well, let's have a little look. Oh, man. She sells some cool stuff. Get the mouse out of the way. Interesting. Well... We don't need any of those things. Um, I mean, that is kind of cool, I suppose. So she just sells these, really. Uh, party box. Hmm. Seven or eight charges. So I guess after seven or eight charges, it just disappears. Okay. Well, interesting. This shop is a little dull for my tastes. I want a bigger shop, a shop that is more befitting of a merchant as grand as myself. I'll need 2,000 gold to remodel this place. Yeah, sure. You gave 2,000 gold. Thank you, Captain. You've got great taste. I'll use my looks to try and scare up a few new items. <laughs> use your looks. Yeah, uh, hmm, you'll be scaring something. I'm not sure you're going to be scaring up items, but whatever. Okay, so where does this lead? Ah, this leads the other side. So he dug out both of these giant caves. Man, he has been busy. And we've got an actual proper grave for Gonzales. I found the treasure that you were looking for. But to be honest, it wasn't what either of us was expecting. I like that. Uh, yeah, so anyway, down here, there is a moonfish down here. Now, if you remember, when we first got out of the Delphinus, uh, when I was watching the video back, there was actually an audible noise. And apparently, it's down here somewhere. We've almost... Oh, yeah. We actually almost have all of the moonfish. Almost. There you are, you little bastard. Come to papa. Oop. Moonfish was caught. Excellent. Right. So, there's that. Nice. Let's update my notes. Uh, docking, yes, and then on the elevator as well. There's also a cham out here that we can go get, and then we should probably, you know, feed those chams. Right, now there's another cham all the way down here. I don't know who we need to talk to about remodeling more of this place. But we do need to get all of the upgrades. Well, I mean, we don't need them per se. But we may as well have them. Hey, another cham. Excellent. Okay. That's the two chams got. Now we just need one more moonfish and we're good. There's so much... Creative cloud, go away. Um, there's so much... What does that say? It's filled with cement mix. Yeah, man, it's too heavy. I can't even move it an inch. Did Ismail carry this by himself? Uh, there's so much side content to do now. It's kind of almost overwhelming. But it's all good. We'll get there. Now we've got this fantabulous little lift device, which is very fancy. And there is our Ixitak and friend. 
Hey Captain, did you know you can see the entire island from up here? Nothing to report today. Well, except for the fact that Ismail ate uh, Babron's lunch when he wasn't looking. Lel. Right, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense you'd be able to see everything up here. Moonfish was caught. Good. That does look pretty bloody cool, I'm going to be honest. Anywho, let's go into the briefing room. My god, those guys really have been busy, haven't they? I mean, this place looks fantastic. Whoa, dude. Look at the vase. Hmm, it's still hard for me to believe that Ismail turned this deserted island into a base. Faze, Ika, Enrique, thank you for everything you've done so far. We've managed to get three of the moon crystals. I never would have made it this far on my own. Thank you so much. Come on, Fina, you don't have to thank us. Uh -huh. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I don't think we would have ever gotten a chance to sail around the world. We should be thanking you. <laughs> Fina, I don't know if you've realised yet, but your mission has helped us all. And we've all grown to be such good friends. <laughs> yes, thank you. I mean, you're welcome. Until recently, I've lived a sheltered life. I was scared when the elders asked me to search for the crystals. And I was alone. Yeah, seems like kind of a foolish mission to send one person out to gather all of the moon crystals on their own. Well, kind of, anyway. Uh, I was scared when the elders asked me to search for the crystals, and I was alone. Since then, I've made some great friends, and I get excited when we explore new lands, even the ones with monsters. Yeah, when you first heard what we did for a living, you seemed really surprised, almost intimidated. You're sounding more like an air pirate every day. Before you know it, you'll be dressed like us, and Cupid will be wearing an eye patch. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Hey, that reminds me. Do you know where we should go to get the next moon crystal? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. To the far south lies a land that basks in the cold light of the purple moon. It is known as the Land of Ice. The purple moon crystal should be hidden there. Land of Ice. The purple moon is the source of power for all ice magic. And because of that, the lands under the blue under the moon have become encased in ice. I've heard stories about that place. Some of the others back home used to tell me the rumours they'd hear. Hmm. I heard that the air is so cold that anyone who goes there will be frozen solid in a manner of seconds. Oh, Ica and your stories. I don't want to have to chisel you out of the ice face. Where'd you get these stories? <laughs> First, I was going to catch on fire, then people were going to eat us with sticks, now I'm going to freeze. Getting the crystals is not going to be easy, but I think your overactive imagination is getting the best of you. What do you mean? Alright, fine. When you become a vesicle, don't come crying to me. <laughs> I'm sure everything will be alright. I doubt it's that cold, Ica. Well, according to our value in archaeologists, beneath the layers of ice lies the ruins of an ancient city. The ruins have been undisturbed since the old world. Unfortunately, no one has ever been able to break through the ice. All we have been able to do is observe the ruins from the sky. Interesting. So we don't really need to go there because it's impossible to get the crystal. Well, I was thinking, Babrahan said the hull had been reinforced, right? If the hull is, so, is strong enough to break through stone reefs, perhaps it's strong enough to break through the ice. That might work. We could bust through the ice with the Delphinus. If the Delphinus can get through the ice, then we can get the crystal. Yeah. Looks like our next destination is to the south, to the land of ice. Well... Looks like we've got a long journey ahead of us. I think you should take the rest of the day off and celebrate. Aye, aye. And have a nap, because, you know, naps.
Everybody likes a nap. Okay. Oh, I guess this is Vase's quarters. Oh, I see. So there is one for each of the main characters. This is Vase's quarters. I'm guessing... That's Ica's? Okay. And then Fina's. Oh no, that's Ica's. That kind of makes a little bit more sense. I wouldn't have thought she was... Hmm, okay. Now that we've got our own island base, I bet you finally feel like a real captain. Captain Vase. I like the sound of that. Aww. You've sailed around the world in your own... Well, technically it's not our ship, is it? I mean, it, it's Enrique's. But uh, I guess... I guess we could uh, easily see him having an accident before he takes his ship back. Uh, sailed around the world in your own ship. Not many people can say that. They've made their childhood dreams come true, you know. Okay, you make it sound like I'm ready to retire. <laughs> there's still so much that I haven't seen yet. And there's still lots of un uh, undiscovered treasure to be found. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> That's so like you. Don't worry. I'll be right there with you. Especially if there's treasure involved. Yes, you will. God damn, we need a remake. Or we need another game. I'd love to see another game. Ah, uh, this is Fina's room. Oh, so the other one's Enrique's. Okay. It's a very nice island. And you even had a room made for me, too. I can't believe it. I actually have my own room in your home base. <laughs> well, I mean... Be a little bit unfair to build us all a room and not include you in that. I feel like I'm really a member of the Blue Rogues. I'm I'm so happy. Thank you, Vase. Oh, Fina, it's fine, honestly. It's not like you're getting special treatment. Um, now, oh, hello. Wow. They're polished stones and books with weird designs. Maybe they're used for fort. Oh, right. Okay. I was going to say, what's she gibbering on about? Welcome. Heed my words and the future will be known. Uh, I'm not being fleeced, but I'll go on. Very well. Let us begin. Hmm. Ah. Yes, yes. I see something. In this world, there are three special charms called Abrit Charms. You never know where you, you'll get them from, so make sure to be nice to people. They may surprise you with a gift. The Red Moon has spoken. Yeah, yeah. That's what we get from doing that exceptionally long-winded quest. We get the Abrit Charms. Okay, leave it to me. Yep. Alright. Now, let's get out of here. Can we talk to you? Well, I'm pretty happy with the base, but I think I can fix it up a little bit if I had more money. What do you say? Do you want me to remodel some of the buildings? That would be great. Which building do you want remodeled? Uh, remodel the tavern. So you want me to remodel the tavern? It's going to cost 1500 Are you sure you want to go through it? Go right ahead. Okay, leave it to me. I'll take care of everything. Uh, okay. Right, let's get out of here. I don't think we can, like, remodel anything down here. Unfortunately. What do we have over here? What's this? Ah, it's paint. Somebody left some paint cans here. Come to think of it, what exactly were they painting anyway? Well, I don't know, Baze. I've reinforced the armor on the bow of the ship. You'll be able to fly through any glaciers like they're nothing. You'll be able to fly through some stone reefs in Ixitaka too. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, all right, buddy. You are pretty good. Mm, yeah, not gonna lie. Let's go. So, I think what we should do... Maybe we should go back to Sailor's Island. Might be a good idea. Let's head towards Sailor's Island for now. 
I don't think we can... Yeah, we don't quite have the upgraded engines yet. Maybe we need to do the next crystal first. So, but what we do need is to do some bounties and things. Bounties and things. Now, uh, also... Where was the Grand Fortress? Sailor's Island. Yes, the Bistro. Gee, I think we need to go to the Bistro. Let's go through the Sky Rift. I, mean, I guess we could go through anywhere, really. It doesn't have to be the Sky Rift, but... This will work. It's a lot better now the map's opened up. I don't know, like, fly pretty much wherever we need to go now. Kind of fancy shooting down some ships, but <coughs> there's no real point. Although, I think we do have to shoot down X amount of ships. Uh, also, you'll notice if we go to uh, our inventory, if we look at Vase, he's now Vase the Fallen Pirate. I don't really know why that happens, how he becomes a Fallen Pirate. It's to do with game progress, and we actually have to fight a particular bounty to actually reclaim our title. I don't know why exactly we fall. It's strange, but it is whatever, I guess. Hey guys! Hi. I see you've caught some moonfish. Let's leave. Yeah, go on. Let's feed the critter. It's been a while since we fed this little guy. As we nearly have all of the moonfish. Might as well. Oh, we've also got chams as well. Right, what's it got? Ghost mail. Hmm, okay. Nice. We shall have the ghost mail. Let's keep going. We must have at least four moonfish. This thing's going to burst at this rate. we got sword of ducat okay yeah now this is how you get the most powerful weapons in the game by the way uh, these weren't available in the dreamcast these weapons are so powerful they're borderline broken but yeah this is how we do get the ultimate weapons right so what's next Gold bullion. Okay. I think all we do with the gold bullion is sell it. How many moonfish do we have? Hey, look, something different about him. What's wrong? Uh He's mutating! Kill it! Oh wait. I don't know. He looks different for some reason. I don't know why or how, but it looks like every time he grows, his body changes in other ways as well. Ah, oh, puberty. Bless him. Looks like an egg. Uh, constitution gem, eh? Damn, keep it going. Definitely looking pretty funky now. So what have we got? I've got to try and remember all the different items we've got from this thing. Defensive aura. Thank you. Thank you, Vase. Picolio says thank you too. That thing is huge. Uh, should we be worried? Is that thing a gigas? Is that thing a take over this whole area. Hmm, his name is Picolio. Huh? Cute name. Tell him that I'll bring even more fish next time. Yeah. Okay. But well, actually we won't because we're running out. Moonfish. Maria can actually talk to that bird? Sure, seems like it. I don't know for sure. But uh, I don't know for sure though. But either way, looks like they understand each other on some level. 
Now I think about it, even her older sister. Um, Doc? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was lost in thought. Doc, please, tell me about Ramrez when you first knew him. I must know. I need to know what happened to him, what changed him, so. Yeah, sounds like you got some pretty personal reasons for wanting to know. Very well, I told you about how Ramrez and I met, right? Well, soon after that, we were sent to Ixitaka, just after Valua had begun to occupy the area. What's wrong, Ramrez? Ever since we got to Ixitaka, you've looked troubled. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Well, if I may speak freely, I feel that Valua is wrong in its ways. In the way it treats the Ixitakans. Hey, wait a minute there, Ramrez. Putting the people into slavery, forcing them to mine for moonstones, and all for value as profit. It's horrible. Ramrez. Ramrez, you're absolutely right. I, as a father of two, feel the same way. I feel a sadness deep in my heart for the plight of the people of Ixitaka. How's this, then? I will personally express these grievances to the Empress herself. Let me deal with it, Ramrez. Thank you, my lord. Yeah, I bet that went down well. One day we ran into Admiral uh, Galcian in Ixitaka. Back then, Lord Galcian was still another admiral in the Armada, but stories of his military prowess were spreading rapidly. Actually, the reason why Valua had such had so easily conquered Ixitaka and occupied it was due to the great military feats of Lord Galcian. Of course, Ramrez went straight to Galcian, being the root of all evils in Ixitaka. Lord Galcian, how can you treat the Ixitakans like this? It's so despicable. And Ramrez, you can't talk to an admiral like that. Stay out of this, Doc. It has nothing to do with you. And no matter what happens, I know Admiral Mendoza will stand up for me. Admiral Mendoza? <laughs> Fool. What did you say? How dare you speak ill of the Admiral? I will not stand here and let you tarnish his honour. It was not Mendoza that I called a fool. It is you, boy, who followed him so blindly. That is the fool. Uh, what? What did you say? People are not to be trusted. Depend on a person too much and they will betray your trust sooner or later. I only believe in power. Power will never betray you. And that is why I search this land for an even greater power. And if such power exists, I swear it will be mine. You will someday understand the meaning of my words. When that day comes, I will be waiting you. Okay. That was the first time Ramirez and Galician uh, had ever met. If I had only stopped Ram Ramirez back then, things may have turned out much differently. Uncle Doc? All right. Wait a second, Maria. I'll be right there. <laughs> Ever since she started talking again, Maria stopped using that bell, and now she calls me by name. And it always makes me feel weak in the knees whenever she calls me uncle. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for those pretty little eyes. Yeah, just remember she's a girl, yeah? Yeah, that sounds kind of creepy. All right, we'll get out of your way. I'm probably busy anyway. Anyway, we'll talk more about Ramirez some other time, okay? Sure thing. And don't forget to bring me more moonfish. Well, we've almost exhausted the world's supply of moonfish. So, I mean, we'll do what we can, but no guarantees. Right. Now I gotta try and remember all those things that we had. We had ghost mail. Which sounds pretty cool. Uh items Ghost Mail. Oh yeah, we don't want items, do we? We want equipment. Scale mail. Strange outfit that appears translucent in light and floats eerily when released. Hmm. Well, Ica can wear it. So can Drachma, but, you know, he's dead. 
and hmm. Well, let's see if it's any good. Not really. Hmm. Seems to be a little bit pointless, I guess. Right, we've also got the Sword of Ducat. Sword of the Great Air Pirate Ducat. It has the power to lull enemies to sleep. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not as good as the sword we already have. Which is kind of sucky, actually. Uh, what else do we have? We've got a few items as well, don't we? Um... Ah, we've got an Isil Seed, which I guess we'll feed to Fina. Chams, we've got two Chams. Oh, he's now a Claymore. Nice. Charm, Red Sardis, Spike, yeah. Yeah, we've got some fish. Right, well... What did we get? Nothing really there. Gold bullion. Piece of solid gold. Too big to carry. You can keep it or sell it if you need the money. Ooh, I wonder how much that's worth. Well, I mean, I guess we'll sell it. So, I guess... Gem of fluidity... Yeah. Captain's hat. A defensive aura renders the wearer invulnerable to normal attacks. Whoa. Yeah, that that's that's quite good and improves defense as well. A miraculous stone that prevents all adverse effects and boosts defense and magic defense. Nice. Some of these are quite nice. Silver veil. Mystic veil that protects the head. Perfects against silence. Not bad. Okay, anyway, let's head to the island. See if there's anything new here we can get. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we are kind of out of time as well. Which is unfortunate, to say the least. Uh, let's see if we can sell our gold bullion anyway. Right. So we can sell. What can we get for our gold bullion? Oof. I guess we'll sell it. Might put down some kind of safety save. Well, it says we can sell it. Can't think what else we'd actually use it for. Sword of the cat, I mean, doesn't seem to be that good. Get rid of that. Moon robe, don't need. Long robe, don't need. Ghost mail seems a little bit pointless. We'll sell it. Right. Gold bullion times two. Go on, we'll sell it. We don't really need it. Uh, okay, cool. Now we're going to find out that I've done uh, a huge mistake. Done a massive boo-boo. We shouldn't have sold those things. But it is what it is. I really want to fight this guy next. A former black pirate has opened a restaurant in the North Ocean. The food's supposed to be amazing. And it's all you can eat. Makes my mouth water. I'm sh... I'd sure like to go sometime. Uh, right. Have a look in here. Yeah, Fina's gone. 
Not Fina, Pinta. Um, where is that dude that sells strange items? Because he does actually have an item that we want. It's just a very low chance of actually uh, having the item. Um, let's have a look. See if he's through here. I suppose when we come back, we'll have a crack at fighting him. But that's not going to be for a while. Not for me, anyway. Uh, it looks like we can't find the guy. Anyway, I guess we are going to get rested. I've heard all the rumors about you. Just don't make any trouble for yourself whilst you're here. Hey, look. We're not evil, I swear. I swear. Okay. Now we're going to drop a save, guys. And when we come back, we're going to start going after some bounties. In fact, the bounty that's just standing outside waiting for us. Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.